Parsec in the motor. Before you always puke. Photo bummer. Okay, this is it. Blue collar, which is the heavy duty. So, yeah, this is how many. 450 pesos. Mariwasa. Kylie! Kylie! <laughs> Sorry, I'm for our swimming pool. So it's adhesive. Kylie adhesive. Heavy Boom. Yep. But all of it. Yeah, we bought all of it. Good morning everybody, welcome to a new video. Today is one of the biggest updates in the construction process. And that is of course, these massive frames and windows are finally here, installed. Pretty much ready to go. Here you go, let me show you. Now this was one of the biggest challenges of the house, anything from uh, the very first to the beginning. So originally we planned to have the house uh, 3.5 meters or so, but with that we really couldn't get this design because we wanted complete glass to the ceiling. So not uh, other ideas we had was another window section here. So what we did in the beginning we reduced the height of the ceiling. And this is what we can end up coming up with. Another problem we had was uh, delivering them here up in the land. So if you have anything higher than this, it's, you have to start sourcing out in Cebu or overseas to get that big glass. So this is about the maximum we could find here in Dumaguete. So this is 2.6 meters glass. And also originally it was supposed to be four glasses. But then it was just a little bit too wide. So now uh, we went with five for a little bit extra strength and of course tempered. It has a nice handle here and then lock. And then we can also lock this section. If we want to. Thumbs on a nice rollers, so four rollers to go in and out. Let me show you how it looks on the outside. How's this smoothness? It's heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. But it's still smooth, right? Yep. All the way. Okay, one by one. <laughs> That's on. Okay. There we go. Exactly, that uh, brings me to the next point and that is once again, this was the uh, idea with the house 
to kind of double the size of the living area by extending it, uh, making the uh, roof extend out, and then the porch area, same tiling as the inside, and then probably these windows to be open in the daytime. So by this design, it almost feels like this area doubles in size. Another point, uh, you may be asking why we put the windows on this side, not this, this side. That's because the kitchen is there and there may be, we might be walking a lot around here, in and out of the kitchen. And also you want to put the living room here. This is the only room. That's yeah. it. Very small. Too small. That's it. TV, couch area here. And then this, then the glass can work as a sort of a Big wall or something. Cover. Yeah, cover. And also, here we might gonna put some swing. <laughs> or hammock. That is gonna be my favorite spot. Absolutely, I agree. This will be the. We'll be fighting over this spot for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Dips. Whoa. Can you reach the top? No. <laughs> How are you gonna clean the window? <laughs> Good one. Yes. Shh. That's how you clean. And that's uh, another point you might be wondering: Are we gonna have any film to make it a little bit less bright? And we're not. And that's because of this roof deck over here. That's one of the reasons we wanted to have it extending really far out so we don't need to put any film on these windows and now we also have a second window is installed check this out good night good night <laughs> can you open again nice one and that's the master bedroom. My dream is almost complete. I can open from the bedroom and jump into the pool. So, <laughs> close to the outside. <laughs> and the very, very last window that hasn't been installed yet, this one over here. But that's gonna be next week. The glass has already arrived. So the uh, workers from ESJ, they're gonna be uh, putting that up next week. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be glass to glass, no frame in between. Tempered as well. Tempered. Nice one. And jump. Also, in the last video, this tiling was not complete. I think they were starting about here. Uh, two, four, tile not down yet because that's gonna be some of the piping work we have to do for the pool. So yeah, they tiled all the porch and also this section over here. And then there's gonna be a small ray. But this rail is not to keep you falling, it's just to let you know visually that you should not walk here. Also, drainage or uh, not really a drainage but a water stopper. So if there's any splashing coming in out of the pool, it gets into that. Very nice. And then they're almost finishing the tiling on the walkabout around the house. All the way around the house, we have a 1.5 meter walkway. So that's always nice to prevent many things. This is very important in the house, in my opinion, at least here, when the vegetation can be so strong in the rainy season. You don't really want any plants or grass to be growing next to the walls, insects, getting into the uh, construction cracks or whatever. 
So we're keeping all the vegetation outside the porch and the house. One thing to add with the windows, this is the bathroom, CR, WC, restroom, toilet. And uh, you can see there's a frosty film on here. And uh, I'm not sure how it's done normally, if it's on the inside or outside, but my thinking is uh, we put it on the outside because it's easier to clean on the inside. I mean, in the bathroom, foggy or dusty or something. It's there's easy one to clean. more missing there. Yeah, and it's the last one here. Most of our windows in the house are owning, so opens like that, then down, and then the big ones are the sliding. And here we are in my walk-in closet. This is our open window. Ooh. So we have some airflow in here, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. I want sliding window here, so we choose our open. Some updates with the pool. We've let past about three weeks for the uh, cement to completely dry and uh, solidify. And uh, then it was smooth everything out. And now we're in the process of waterproofing it even further. So we're doing two layers of waterproofing. See this one, the dark area? That's the waterproofing material. And uh, we actually ran out of it last week. So we just bought some more uh, yesterday in the store. So we have to complete it here. They do one direction coating the whole pool. And once that's done, they do a second coating that is the opposite direction. So horizontal and vertical. Once that's done, we will start tiling. And the tiles are here and also the adhesive. We bought some yesterday. Once again, Marivasa. Uh, here we got the yellow ones, which are, we are using for the tiling. And this is the heavy duty that uh, we're using for the tiles in the pool. So uh, double the price, but uh, this is something we probably should not try to be uh, saving on. So probably the recommendation, it's my first pool a bit, but uh, yeah. Maybe it's a wise to not try to go cheaper material on that one. So, we got the heavy duty one. Okay, Thor. How do you like our new windows? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I think you like it a lot. <laughs> Already? Yeah, you're touching it, huh? Mm, he even peed there. <laughs> he even peed there. <laughs> Just At his territory, Thor. One minute ago. He's now in the process of peeing everywhere around the land, marking his territory. So true. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ran after the chicken yesterday. Mm. You almost killed them, huh? Mm -hmm. So oh. funny where I was holding the chicken and letting him smell the chicken just so he would get to know the smell better so he won't be uh, going after them in the future. But when he uh, smelled the chicken, you could see his uh, tongue go out. <laughs> food. He think it's food. No, we're... <laughs> You know that we're, th uh, we're thinking to buy a, a, a turkey, right? And a goose. Yeah. Geese. That's gonna be a problem. But I'm sure I can train him. I train him every day. Every day. We're so excited to move down here. Oh, yeah. So, like, we're there now we're waiting for a big win uh, the big doors to come in. We're having a problem here, which is the water. Yeah. It's so dry, even though we have a water reservoir, even uh, so many tanks, still it's super hot. They say, oh, we call it El Nino thing. Um, so hot. The thing is now we use so much water in the construction. All the tiling, it's barrel after barrel of water. And then we're watering the plants. And now we had almost two days, no water coming in. That's the first time it happened. So we're gonna be connecting to another water line that is much stronger. So we're gonna get that done next week. Then we bought another 2,000 liter tank. So we'll have 6,000 water liter tank and then 12,000 reservoir. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Watch out, there's a grizzly bear next to you. I know. Why is mm. the camera zooming in? Yay. <laughs> I love them so much. I love them both. They are they are totally a different um, attitude. <laughs> David character. <laughs> Just so funny. Yes, that's your pee. Don't pee there, Thor. Don't pee there, Thor. This is your house, Thor. Look. God, you're so big, eight months old. Uh, sit, sit. Good boy. High five. High five. Oh. Another really cool thing about this area is that there's a lot of uh, constructions coming up. Uh, we visited our neighbor last night and uh, he's building 3,000 square foot house. Huge one, much bigger than this and it's looking gorgeous. Then we saw other lots, uh, some posts being um, dug in and uh, putting up fences. That's the normal procedure here. People always put fences first and then the house. <laughs> we did it completely opposite. <laughs> Start the house. And then house the fences. first. The fences are on already, eh? Come here. So now we have a prime example of the three meter extension of the uh, porch roof. And that is, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 a.m. And look Hi. at the shading it's creating. You okay? <laughs> this is a very good example about uh, the Rottweiler breed and a Beagle. Rottweiler, loyal, <laughs> family dog, protective. Beagle follows his nose. Just follows his nose all the time. See, we, we even sometimes have leash on Jake, but not Tim. Unless there's visitors, we have to be very careful. Very, think it's very catchy. Wow! Oh, there, hey, 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 one, one, one. Mmm. <laughs> That's bully. <laughs> I love you. I give you a lot of pain, okay? I give you a big boot. And it's the day after, and I actually called in very few workers because. Uh, yeah, we had actually 2,000 liters coming in last night. So right now, we only get water at night time for some reason. But uh, we should be getting additional 2,000 liter tanks. So hopefully we can be filling them up soon. 6,000 liters. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Feeding the boys. And over there, we got some Hollow blocks coming in for the fence. Big truck of it. Bye, Budak. Nice one. Some stones, gravel, and sand. So apparently the water is actually pretty good. It's just our piping is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, we talked to our, one of our workers and he said the house upstairs, there are no issues. So we're gonna buy all the requirements to connect our new piping to our water system up into the main source. So hopefully this week we will install that and get much faster water. All good. Let's have breakfast. So which guy said that Makoi? Maki or Wuki? Maki. And what house is mm -hmm. he from uh, the... Just there, oh that's the house in the Gohawa now. And their water is always good. <laughs> then it's the piping. The piping for sure. <laughs> hey, we have a new cat. Oh, two more new. Hi. These are my babies, my new babies. Come here, babies. They are gross. You know. Perfect one. Soft, completely orange. Taste test. Mmm. Perfect. 
Was it completely yellow when you take it? Now I know. And here's the fence uh, we're doing. Basically, I call it the firewall defense. It's about two meters tall. And then you can see maybe here in the bottom of it, we installed as well some piping in case it ever rains so much. At least the water can escape here. Pipes, pipes, pipes. Pump room almost done as well. Um, here we would be having the uh, big filter and a water pump. Maybe some electrical as well. And we'll see in the future what we do about this area here. I know we're gonna have the shower, maybe some bodily type. But well, let's see. Then up here on the view deck, we also put some tiling here around my plant area for the future. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, updates about the house and the windows are installed. And if you're wondering about the price we paid, uh, it's kind of hard to give you a number when it's in square meter because each and every single window can be different from another. The bigger the glass, the more exponential the prices go up. So it's not really price per square meter. It really depends on the size. So uh, I would say about half of it off is uh, tempered as well and half is not. But to give you a rough idea, I think we paid about uh, 700 or 800,000 for all the glass in the house. So uh, just remember the future, if you plan to build, Glass is very expensive. Okay, that's it from the video. Until next time, peace out.